Good afternoon everyone. Today we are going to learn about the foreign body aspiration. Foreign body aspiration simply means the lodging of the foreign body like not seeds, berries, beans, twice, coins in the respiratory tract. Foreign body aspiration is the second leading cause of accidental death after drowning. And the common objects that are aspirated or cause obstruction in the respiratory tract is nuts and seeds, berries, corn and popcorn, beans that are the small round foods and also the toys and coins. Now we can go for the pathogenesis. That means how or what happens after aspiration. Aspiration usually happens by in the children or also adult but in children it is while playing or running and, and the foreign body can lodge anywhere in the respiratory tract and produce very well symptoms when it will lodge in the trachea and larynx and the trachea that is supraglottic airway it triggers the protective reflexes and also cause laryngospasm and in 90% of the cases the foreign body is coughed out and when it causes the glottis or loss in infraglottic airway and it induces cough and respiratory distress. When the obstruction is partial or when it causes partial obstruction, bulb valve effect occurs. That is air enters in during inspiration but difficulty during expiration and it give rise to unilateral hyperinflation. And when the foreign body causes complete obstruction, that is stop valve effect, air cannot pass below the obstruction and the obstructed lungs collapse. Now we can go for the clinical features and clinical features can simply be withdrawn from the pathogenesis and the single and most important clinical feature is sudden onset of coughing, choking or wheezing in previously well child and there may be the history of running with food in the mouth or playing with the seeds, coins or toys and there may be presence of strider in case of partial obstruction and in ability to vocalize that means to talk or produce sound or presence of sinuses that is misdescription of the skin and mucous membrane to do complete obstruction as there is no gases accents below the obstructed site. Now we can go for the diagnosis. Diagnosis is mainly clinical and it is supported by investigations and investigations are x-ray of the chest and if not compound then we can also go for the CT scan of the chest. In the x-ray of the chest, it is normal in case of 80% with laryngotracheal lodging. And there may be unilateral hyperinflation if the formula is lost in the principal bunkers with bulb, bulb effect. And in case of the bilateral hyperinflation can occur in case of the formula is lost in trachea. And there may be sign of or features of collapse when it causes complete obstruction. The formula is visible in 24% of the cases. So these are the investigations. After the confirmation uh, by the history and uh, clinical features and also sometimes investigation when required, we can go for the treatment. Treatment is back blow, means so you can blow, give a blow in the back so that the fungi is coughed out or comes out by the blow. And the next is Hamlet's manure. Hamlet's manure to expel the foreign body out. In this, first of all, we should kneel at the feet of the children, then place heel of one hand in the middle of the abdomen, that is between the umbilicus and the ribs, and put one hand on the top of another. Then, by gentle but firm pressure, we should give rapid thrust, six to ten times rapid thrust in upward and inward direction. By this procedure or manure, we can expel the out, expel out the foreign body. If it fails, if this manure fails, then foreign body is removed by rigid bronchoscopy, which is the gold standard for the removal of the foreign body. And surgery sometimes can be indicated for the complicated cases. So as we know that prevention is better than 
secure. So we should try to prevent this incidents. And prevention can be done by no, mm -hmm. not letting our we should not let our children to play with these objects. And keep these objects out of reach of small child. So thank you everyone. This is all about foreign body exploration. And if you want any videos on any topic of clinical subjects of MBBS, then do comment us in the comment section. And if you like the video, please like and subscribe to the channel.